Spencer, it finished one all here at Dartford this afternoon. How do you reflect on a point? Well, firstly, I'd want to apologise to everybody who came to watch what was one of the worst games of football I've ever seen. Um, two teams cancelling each other out. It ended up just a basketball match, very physical, which is a shame because it's a glorious pitch here. Lovely day. And um, a draw was fair. I mean, we, you know, we've conceded a set piece, we've scored a set piece as such from a foul from the set piece and the penalty. It would, I think it would have been very unfair if we'd lost the game. Those, those small margins come up. But I'm just disappointed that we're not, we're not passing the ball properly. And we've had probably 30 set pieces um, and they've had half of that and they've scored you know, a poor corner to give away, a mistake by one of my centre-halves. And the guy's scoring from five yards out. You've got to look at the marker, potentially the keeper. And, you know, just before the goal came in, we're about to make two attacking subs because I thought, Let, let's go and try and win the game. And literally the subs were about to come on and they score. And we stuck him on and to be honest, I don't think we did anything much different in the, in, in the extra time that was going on. And, you know, we, we got, I suppose, what we deserved. It was a terrible game. There's no quality, uh, both teams. Um, I mean, they were all giving a shift, working really hard. It was a hot day. And I've just told the lads, I said, I don't want to take away from the fact we've, we've got a well-earned point in the 97th minute, but it's just not good enough for the level we are. We're better than this. And, you, you know, we've got to work hard and we've got to be better. And, you know, obviously the injuries are racking up. Reggie's you know, struggling after 25 minutes and we have to take him off and I thought Adam came on, did alright. It's a welcome to a very physical team, Dartford, you know, very direct, very physical and we ended up doing what they were doing, which was a bit crazy, but we're, we're not passing the ball well enough at the moment. So, ultimately, when you're losing in stoppage time, you're delighted with the point. I said it was a terrible game of football. Uh, their keepers made, what, three good saves, one from Salim, the, the set piece in the 90th minute and obviously we've had a deflection in the first half that very nearly went in and Jack's made just one other save, you know, right at the end there from a, from a corner. I mean, it was said apologies to people that came to watch it. I thought from a footballing perspective, it was an absolutely awful game. And obviously with the new official rules, it's very difficult, you know, we're all trying to work out what the rules are these days. But, you know, generally I'm glad there were no big incidents in the game and, you know, a draw was right. And I just think we've got so, we've got to be better. I can't keep saying the same, we're better than this. We can pass the ball so much better. And, and we need to be better. Players need to be better or they'll, they'll find themselves in the dugout or in the, in the stands. We, we, we can perform so much better, but point away at Dartford. Any away point in this league is, is a good point. I'm still really disappointed with our, our, our technical ability at the moment. And it had to be that man, Alfie Pavey, to rescue a point for us. Finally, someone who can score penalties. Yeah, and he's had a quiet game because he's had balls just lumped up at him in the air. Um, it was just a fist fight. And, He's just told me it was a terrible penalty. I couldn't really see it, and uh, but it's gone in. So who cares? You know, it's uh, we've got we've got some good penalty takers here this year. And as I said, we we deserve the point. I mean, they've they've not hurt us either. I mean, it was just just a, a scrappy, physical, battling, long ball game. And you know, we've got to earn the right to get the ball down and and to pass the ball, right? which this pitch certainly deserves to do. But we didn't do that. It was a low quality game to say to say the least. It was the worst game. And, you know, at least we've come away with a point, but it doesn't change what I've just said to the players in the middle. The dressing room's like a furnace, so we've kept them outside and, and, and spoken to them and just said, look, lads, I'm delighted that we got a point, but terrible goal we've conceded. And we, we know we can play so much better. And we've got to stop saying that every week, you know. We trained well in the week. I thought we did. I know we've got a lot of injuries, a lot of them, but, you know, I'm just disappointed with our levels of performance at the moment. And how do you think we can get around it when the long throws don't come off? Well, the, you know, the reality is we've got some very good technical players who, I'm, I think I'm being fairer, uh, giving very average performances at the moment. And I've just warned them, you know, when these injuries come back, they won't be in the team. And the players that are in the team at the moment need to perform to stay in the team, you know. Um, no excuses, but we have to have a base. You know, it's easy to criticise the attacking players if we have no base to get hold of with the first contacts and the second contacts and be able to play. You know, we are better than this. The long throws, I just didn't think there was enough hunger from us. And, you know, they've got one there in... And he scored, but ultimately, you could say the same. We've, we've had their keepers made the best save of the game in about the 90th minute, and you know we, we got our reward again from a set piece. You know we don't look like scoring an awful lot of goals, and um, the way that we're playing. But we've got some very good players. But obviously, again, Reggie coming off, and you look at the players we're missing: Felivi and Taylor's just coming back, and Ryan Upwood was due to be in the squad today, but he turned up, felt really ill, so he couldn't go in. And you know, and you, then you've got your Rickies and your Salims and you know Reggie off, and it's, it's we are missing a lot of players, but that that shouldn't be the excuse. Players should be really hungry to, to perform better, and we are better than this. As I said, I wake up in the morning and go, and the way point in this division is a good point, but I'm disappointed with our levels of performance. And if we want to have a really good season, we know we can play so much better. And I've just marked their card to say, 
don't want to be too harsh so early, but we need to be playing better than this. This was an opportunity. I said I was just about to make two attacking subs before the goal went in, and um, we still made them obviously when the goal went in. But even then, we didn't really do much. Um, you know, and it was all lump it and hope for a first and seconds. But I said the opposition are like that as well. They were very direct, and you know, putting the ball to the big lad up top, and it was a real physical battle between the two sides. And I said ultimately, I'd be a brave person to say that you know a draw wasn't the right result. And that's three games unbeaten now in the league going into Western next week. Does that give us some momentum? Not really. It's just so early. It's, it's All it keeps telling everybody is that every game that we're in has been incredibly tight. And if you're not on it, you, 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 know, you can lose. And so clearly the injury situation, I've never known anything like it. I, I have to obviously take some responsibility. So, so these players need to get themselves fit. And players, are, we hope, are getting closer. Um, but the reality to it is, is we've got a really good group here, and they need to be better. I thought Adam Price came on, Pace came on, and did well. But we have to change the system right at the end, and he, he got a good what 45 plus minutes. So, you know, it's good that we're bringing on 18 year olds. But at, at the end of the day, you know, it's so early, and um, you see by the results, they're all weird and wonderful all over the place. And uh, you know, we know Western won all three before today. I think they were losing earlier, but yeah, every game is so tough, and I just want to focus on ourselves. We. I said it is the real positive. We can, we've got so much more to give, so much more to give. But we need to get there quicker because it's very, very frustrating with our, you know, let's just hoof it when we, that's not even the plan. But it's very difficult not to hoof it if you haven't got control of the game. And, and at the moment we don't have controls. It's very much end-to-end -end basketball, pretty much all the games. And, you know, we looked at all the stats from the Hemel game and we had vastly more uh, entries into their, into their last third, forward passes on the floor, you know, we, but it's got to be more and there's got to be more hunger on the set pieces as well you can't have a weapon like that and you know don't get me wrong Dartford are a huge side very experienced side and you know they, they defended it very well but we need to be better but yeah just very frustrating but ultimately you wake up in the morning and, and, and it's another point to the tally and as you say three unbeaten and two good sessions needed this week before you know a really tough double header in Western at home and a small trip on, on Bank Holiday Monday. And finally, we had just under 1,000 here in Prince's Park. Just a word for the supporters. Thank you. <laughs> Rather you than me, sorry. <laughs> uh, look, fabulous for our fans there at the end. Thank you for coming. Uh, I'm sorry it was a very <laughs> terrible game. Um, but, you know, sometimes that happens. But, uh, you know, thank you for sticking with it and, and getting your reward right at the end. And, you know, we rightly go over to them at the end and applaud them. And, you know, very, very pleased that uh, we're going home with something. Brilliant. Thanks, Spencer, and good luck for next week. Thanks very much.